Muda 4D is a simple and intuitive Cinema 4D plugin that comes in the form of a text field. It allows users to quickly and easily create an object hierarchy using simple abbreviations and commands. It also offers the ability to add tags, groups, and perform other operations to facilitate the creation and organization of complex objects. If you are familiar with web development and Emmet syntax, you will be delighted to learn that Muda 4D shares the same concepts and syntax, making it easy to learn and use. In this video, we will explore together the basics of Muda 4D and how to use it to enhance your workflow in Cinema 4D. To create a single object, simply enter its name. For example, to create a cube, simply type cube. For a sphere type, sphere. For a cone type, cone, and so on. Object names should always be entered as a single word without spaces, even for names containing multiple words. Note that there is a more efficient way to avoid writing long names by using abbreviations, which we will cover later in the video. To create a parent-child relationship, type the name of the parent object, followed by the greater than sign, and then the name of the child. For example, to create an extrude object with a circle as a child, type extrude greater than circle. You can also create a chain of multiple parent-child relationships by using the greater than sign several times in a row. For example, to create a hierarchy with a lathe as the parent, an arc as the first child, and a bend as the second child, type lathe greater than arc greater than bend. To create a sibling relationship, use the plus sign between names. The sibling relationship will create objects at the same level. In this example, type cube plus sphere to add a cube and a sphere as sibling objects. Similarly, you can chain more objects with the plus sign to have more sibling objects. To duplicate an object multiple times, use the asterisk symbol followed by the desired number of copies. For example, typing cube times three will create three copies of the cube object, while cube times five will create five copies of the same object. To group objects together, use parentheses around the names of the objects you want to group. Parentheses allow you to perform specific operations on the entire group, rather than on each individual object. For example, typing null greater than cube plus sphere will create a null object as the parent of a group containing a cube and a sphere as sibling objects. When combining groups and multiplication, Parentheses determine the order of operations. They indicate which group should be multiplied first. For example, typing null greater than cube plus sphere times three will create three copies of the group containing a cube and a sphere as sibling objects with a null object as their parent. On the other hand, if we add parentheses around the entire group, including the parent object and its children, and then multiply it by three, we get a different result. In this case, we are creating three copies of the entire group, resulting in a total of nine objects. So, by using parentheses, we can control which group is multiplied and how many copies of each object are created. To assign a specific name to an object, enclose the desired name in curly braces immediately following the object's type. For example, to name a cube, my perfect cube, the command would be 
cube, left curly brace, my perfect cube, right curly brace. To number a sequence of objects, you can use the dollar sign in combination with multiplication. Insert this symbol into the object name between curly braces for the numbering. For example, typing cube, cube dollar sign times five will create five cubes, each with a unique name that includes a single digit from cube zero to cube four. If you want to use two digits for the numbering, you can use two dollar signs like this. Cube, cube double dollar signs times five. This will create five cubes with names from cube 00 to cube 04. The number of dollar signs used determines the number of leading zeros in the sequence starting from zero. To set position, scale and rotation, attributes for an object, use brackets after the object name to specify a key value pair, where the key can be P for position, S for scale, or R for rotation, and the value is a vector. The vector can have three components, X, Y, Z, corresponding to the desired attribute, or if all three components have the same value, it can be simplified to a single value. For example, to assign a position to an object, use the P key and set a vector value, X, Y, Z, corresponding to the desired position. To set a scale, use the S key and establish a vector value, X, Y, Z, for the scale you want. And finally, to apply a rotation, utilize the R key and set a vector value, H, P, B, for the desired rotation in degrees. Of course, you can combine the three transformations, position, scale, and rotation, into a single line. To do this, simply list your attributes between the brackets, separated by commas. To assign a tag to an object, insert a period between the object name and the tag name. For example, to add a target tag to a camera object, simply type camera.target. You can also add multiple tags to the same object simultaneously by listing them, separated by periods. For example, to add the tags target, display and expresso to a null object. Type null target dot display dot expresso. Typing the full names of objects or tags can be time consuming, especially for longer names or those composed of multiple words. To improve efficiency, you can use abbreviations. For example, Instead of typing out subdivision surface, you can simply type SS. Similarly, you can use C for cube, S for sphere, and CAM for camera. To access the full list of abbreviations, please consult the configuration files located in the plugins directory. Alternatively, you can refer to the tables in the documentation for more details. When inserting a command, it's possible that you may end up with a command that doesn't work. This could be due to a simple typo or because the correct syntax wasn't followed. If, after entering your text and pressing enter, you notice that nothing happens, it would be wise to take a look at the status bar for any error messages that may be displayed. This can give you an indication of the nature of the problem. 
If no message is visible in the status bar, you can check the console window for more detailed error messages to help you correct the issue. Muda 4D is a highly customizable and extensible plugin. Although some objects, tags, and abbreviations are predefined, you have the freedom to modify them or create new ones as needed. In fact, you can completely choose the names and abbreviations that you prefer. Muda 4D allows you to modify or add new entries, as well as delete existing definitions. This means that you can tailor the plugin to your specific needs, making it even more efficient and user-friendly. Thank you.